How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. For part one of the video, we went over how to separate the chat audio from being recorded by Shadowplay. In this one, I wanna go through and show you how to combine that chat audio with your microphone audio on one track so it will be completely separate from the desktop audio in the Shadowplay recordings. So a few ways we can do this. Of course, we can do the Alt-Z option to pull up GeForce Experience. However, since I am recording and stuff, I can't go to my settings. Another way to get to this is to pull up GeForce Experience itself and go to the settings tab. Here we have in-game overlay and we have the settings. This is what we're looking for. In order to turn on multiple audio tracks, you wanna to go to audio. And of course, since I'm recording right now and uh whatnot you can't see this here but there is an option here for single track or two tracks you want to select two tracks and save that now another thing you want to do is remember where this is because we will be coming back to utilize this source option right here all right so once we're done with that we do want to pull up voice meter banana as this is where we're going to be doing everything uh so you may want to go ahead and download and install this if you haven't already i will have the link to this in the description below so what we did was separate the chat audio from the default playback device in the last video and now we want to reroute that essentially to one source that we can select for shadow play so I'm going to show you how I have mine set up personally, and from this, you should be able to gather enough information to figure this out yourself. All right, so anyways, how I have mine set up here is this is actually my microphone here. This is where mine is, but yours will end up being on one of these inputs along here. Now, this one, hardware input three, is my virtual audio cable. This is actually where I have uh, all my chat audio routed to. So I have my chat audio coming into here. And it, then from here, it goes to A1, which is my headset. And then it goes to A2, which is my capture card. My microphone, of course, goes to A2, which is my capture card. I don't need it to reroute back to my headset. So A1 is deselected. So essentially what we're doing here is we want to combine these two outputs here into one source. Now you may be wondering, well, how are we going to do that? Well, for me, I have an open source and that is this one here. And the previous video say if you selected this one as your default playback device, you'll still have this one open here and you can use this one for routing these two channels together. So there's a really simple way to do this. Like I said, I have this one selected here and is on my recording tab. So this is actually what I have set to be recorded by Shadowplay. So this is technically my microphone in Shadowplay. However, it's not in here. And this is because my microphone, I have B1 selected, so all the audio goes to this output. As you can see here, it is actually showing up in the recording's device. However, it's not showing up in Shadowplay itself on this part here, but it is over here. So this is a quick way to tell if it's working or not. So I have B1 selected for my chat audio and B1 selected for my microphone audio. This means that both of the outputs here go into this one device here. And then this is recorded by Shadowplay. This is what I was speaking about earlier. If we go back to settings and we go to the audio tab, we'll have a source option here. As you can see, I selected to have uh, voice meter VAIO as the default for uh, my microphone and shadow play. So you can see if we go back to audio, that's what I have set. So what that means is that all the audio that's going there will be considered the microphone by shadow play. So shadow play will have the microphone on one channel and the desktop audio on the other channel. Since in this regard, I have these two sources being sent to this one, then both of these will be recorded by Shadowplay. And that's essentially all you need to do in order to have your microphone and chat audio on one channel separate from the desktop audio in the Shadowplay recordings. Now, one thing you may wanna do is play around with this. You can go in here and see roughly how loud your uh, microphone is when you're speaking compared to how loud everything is when your friends are speaking. Now, if you say your friends are a little loud, you can adjust that because that's how it is on my end. My friends are considerably louder in the recordings than I am. Well, all you have to do is go to this fader gain here that corresponds with wherever your chat output is. So mine is virtual audio cable. That's what this is. 
you just have to lower it until it gets to something that you would prefer. For me, I have to lower it around 12 dB or so before it's uh, adequate and we're pretty balanced. I really wish we had an option for a third track so we could split them all up. However, we don't at this time. That may or may not be something that NVIDIA is looking to work on, but I, I really don't know. There are other programs that you can do that with, but the thing is they don't have the replay function like Shadowplay does, and that's what I prefer because I don't like to just go in and record everything while I'm playing. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. I hope this helped you out a ton. I'll catch you on the next one. Ram tied out.